So I think there's a lot of room for the way you look at it. I'll also bring this to the table because I do think that uh, you make a valid point and there is something that happened, um, not talking about the Ohio State game, but the few games prior to the Ohio State game that um, there was just miscommunications, just misconnections, dropped passes, and he certainly was sporadic. So he can play better. Again, take the Ohio State game off the table for a second. We saw him throw like 50, 55% for three or four games. So so he can play better than that. I look at it more from the standpoint of, is a Georgia going to allow him to complete that high a percentage? He may be on point, but he's going to be on his back. He's going to be running more, eluding guys, you know, uh, dudes in his chest hands in his face and then obviously tighter coverage and not throwing to the 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 type of receiver space that we would see against UConn and Colorado State and the lesser teams in the Big Ten. Sure, sure. It'll it's definitely going to be a different game and and obviously we're we're kind of talking future uh past even the first round of the playoff. But another thing that I had had mentioned to uh to Dre was just the health of Blake Corum, and I, I think conventional wisdom would tell you that he's not going to play this week, I would imagine. Um, but assuming that you know Vegas is right and, and Michigan wins the game, you're looking at potential, if I'm not mistaken, about a month or so uh, of rest. So you, you count this week, that's one week, and then another roughly four weeks, call it, um, of rest. I mean, who knows what where he could be at that point, right? So I think, and I, and I still haven't gotten a clear of what the injury was. I think knee sprain, I think, was the was the diagnosis. So if you're saying, you know, five weeks, uh, at, well, six weeks after the injury, but five weeks of just true rest and rehab, could he be 80, 90%, 100%, you know, at, at that point against, potentially against the Georgia team? Because I, I think that may change things as well for Michigan. Obviously, he is an incredibly dynamic running back. And, and even for as great as Donovan Edwards was in that game, I, I think Blake Corn brings just something a little bit different, something special that I think even a, a really good team like Georgia, I think would would he would potentially give them some issues. So potentially kind of that forecasting out, having that type of rest, you know, who knows where he could be as far as health wise uh, by, you know, by the time we get to the playoff and, and moving forward. 